guys welcome back with another video on the channel thanks for joining crypto trading hub today will be a little bit different video guys we won't get into technical analysis uh, right away but we will do a, a coin per coin what are the possibilities for them having a 5x 10x and a 20x so let's get right into it if we start here with uh, bonk guys we can see that bonk is at this moment with a 1.6 billion dollar market cap with a price with a current price of 0 0.00025 so if we if we will have a 5x uh, at the end of this bull run we should should see a market cap of 8 billion which is a very very possible uh, scenario as you can see here at possible probabilities we are seeing that uh, 8 billion dollar market cap is something very very possible uh, even if we look for example if you compare it to uh, Pepe at this point Pepe has already a 3 uh, billion dollar market cap which is double of the market cap of Bonk at this point which could take Bonk easily to 0 0.00025 but I can see easily a 5x happening for Bonk as you guys saw my predictions for Bitcoin at the end of this boron or at, at least at the peak of this boron of a 400 to a 500 thousand uh, dollar per coin of course this is not just a prediction that I that I made up this is based on the spot ETFs uh, sellings and buyings uh, BlackRock that's uh, almost uh, having the same uh, amount of bitcoins as uh, GBTC, Grayscale, uh, a lot of other financial institutes like the last news of a very very big financial institute that was not on board on uh, bitcoin ETFs that now uh, seems to be on, on board and is going to start selling ETFs uh, that's of course based on the high demand. We saw a little drop in Bitcoin today, but that was because of uh, we saw that a whale just moved 6,500 Bitcoins from his wallet to an exchange. And usually when you move Bitcoins from your wallet to an exchange, uh, it's usually for, uh, for them uh, to for them to be to be sold. So that's why probably we saw that uh, that that dip from 71,000 all the way to 68,000. But that's something very normal. That was nothing too scary, um, uh, to be honest. But let's check what how the chart of Bonk is looking right now, guys. So if we go right now here, guys, and we check Bonk, we can obviously see that the price is down. Uh, we have we have seen this very, very big fall over here as we uh, broke under this ascending wedge. Of course, here was the fall of Bitcoin. So we saw this huge, huge, huge drop. We are trying to recover a little bit right now, but this is a very, very slow recovery as the market is still very, very cautious. As long as Bitcoin uh, doesn't hit back the $70,000 mark, 70,000 plus, the market will be very, very uh, careful with, with investments. So that's why we are seeing a very, very slow progress uh, to the upside right now. At this point, everything looks a little bit bearish, but that's, like I said, a very normal thing as the market is very, very cautious right now when we are waiting for Bitcoin. But realistically, guys, my price predictions for Bunk for the... I always like to do a 24, 48 and a weekly um, prediction. So if we look right now, guys, for a 24-hour uh, prediction for uh, Bunk, of course, this is a relation to Bitcoin if we don't see another drop of 4 or 5%. I could easily see um, Bonk retesting those levels over here, those levels of 27.48 with a little sideways movement. I'm not saying it will be a immediate push to the upside. You could see some sideways movement, but this will happen in the next 24 hours. Some sideways movement for a retest for this level here of 27.35 or 27.4. So this is for the next 24 hours. For the next 48 hours, guys, I see us getting back to 28, 2800. And for the next week, guys, I could see us at least being at 3044. And in a very good scenario, you could see us at 32, somewhere around this area here, guys. So this was for Bong, guys. So let's get back to the other coins. If we look right now at Pepe, guys, Pepe had obviously a very, very big, big run since the beginning of this bull run with a current market cap of 3 billion. With a price of 0 0.000078 with a uh, so if we, we need a 5x guys we need a 15 billion dollar market cap for a 10x 13 billion dollar market cap for a 20x 60 billion dollar market cap of course pepe still has the chance to be listed on coinbase and if that if that happens i could easily see the 10x to a 30 billion dollar market cap but a 15 billion dollar market cap this is something I, I actually very very easily see happening of course the relation to bitcoin hitting it's it's uh, it's uh, all-time high because bitcoin being at 400,000 means that, that that's at least a 4x and a 4x for bitcoin could push other coins 10x even 20x without without them being listed on uh, on coinbase so let's have a quick look pepe let's look over here guys 
we look right now on Pepe, Pepe is still looking actually pretty, pretty okay. If we look at the macro scale over here, guys, Pepe is still looking very, very good. We are still above this descending wedge over here, which is a very, very healthy thing. So we could even fall a further down somewhere around here before we can consider ourselves bearish so even if we fall all the way back to 729 over here we could still be in a bullish trajectory for us to continue back up we are not that far away from our all-time high if you look guys on a macro scale we are seeing still an ascending wedge to the upside if we can draw a line over here like or an arrow just to show you guys we are still in an uptrend there is no there is no bearish downtrend we, we didn't see a fall somewhere around here or on this area so as of right now guys we are looking pretty pretty good for uh for pepe my price predictions for pepe for the next 24 hours guys is that we will at least get back to this to this area here of 855 the next 48 hours i see us getting back to this area here of 920 and in the next week guys i could see us uh, easily of course like i said always in relation to bitcoin i see us hitting this area here of let's say between 970 and 980 so that's it for uh, for pepe guys so let's get back to the other coins so over here guys we have numbers protocol the good thing about number protocol guys it's a very very low uh, market cap coin we are at this moment at 81 million with a price of 0 0.145 so for a 5x guys we need a 400 million dollar market cap for a 10x 800 million dollar market cap for a 20x 1.6 billion dollar market cap so guys, even at eight at ten x is very very likely. Of course, you can see here possible, but because it depends on the popularity of the of the coin and adoptation of the coin, but at least a five x is is something very very likely. As a four hundred million dollar market cap is something very very easily to hit. So in the bearish bullish scenario for uh, numbers protocol, I can see it easily hit um, hit at least uh 70 cents at the end of of this of this uh, boron which would be a 5x 6x uh, at at uh, this point i want to go into technical analysis immediately right now guys i so i don't want to make this video too long so i will go immediately to yield games yield, yield games i really saw a big run uh these last uh, last few days with a current market cap of 434 million which is a relatively small market cap if you compare it to other for example just the meme coins above there it's a relatively small market cap with $1.46 market cap, uh, sorry, current price. So for a 5X, we should see a $2 billion market cap, which is very, very likely and something very, very easily, easily to be hit. A sealed games has a very, very good utility case. For a 10X, we should see a $4 billion market cap. For a 20X, $8 million market cap. So the, it and 20x would be a little bit difficult, but I could, I could easily see it hit two billion dollar market cap and four billion dollar market cap. I uh, made an update on yield games yesterday. For so for those who didn't watch it, go watch it right now. It's still the case. I didn't see any uh, anything uh, different on yield games chart for uh, to require a new update. So for those who haven't watched it yet, just go check it out. Guys, I will I will uh, cover more coins like Fluky and and. As you guys can see here, inverse finance, theta network, loopering, etc. But this will be in my next videos because I don't want to make, to make this video too long, guys. If you have any questions or on other coins or you want me to cover or any questions about these coins over here, guys, drop them in the comment down below. As always, guys, I will keep you up to date on a daily basis. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for uh, supporting the channel. And as always, peace out.